I've tried forever getting out on my own. Every time I do this my way, I get caught in the lies of the enemy. I lay my troubles down. I'm ready for you. Alright, all right, everyone, what's up, it's your boy Natsuki here, back at it again with another new spank and what if fart. Some boys, I just posted a new post saying, you see, after I'm done with my Zoom meeting for school and my friggin' lunch, I'm gonna do a second part I'm going to do part one as I said that was part one in the beginning then I figured out that no way it's more of a part zero because yeah it's more of an origin so yeah this will be the official part one for what if Deku was Boozette? Part 1. And so, where we last left off with was. Where we last left, le left off with was where. Azuna just. and where? Hazasha and Tomura were fighting over the painting. Tomura wanting to put it away because he thinks there's some, because he knows something isn't right about it. And Hazasha wanting to keep the painting because no matter what, she still loves the painting. <sighs> and then we ended up with them ripping the painting. Now, now, let's continue the story. They ripped the painting. So, the two siblings ripped the painting and the frame in half. And out of it came a burst of unholy winds and powerful energy. As out and as then right in front of them both stood Izuna as Izuna pretty much is the just was right there <clears throat> there and she would basically look at she basically would look at Hizasha and Tomura she would glare at Tomura like ugh another person trying to, she wouldn't of course be talking as she would basically be thinking ugh this boy is just another person trying to lock me up ugh I hate it and then she would turn around and look at Hazasha, and she would say, oh, On the other hand, <laughs> I've watched for quite a while, heard her, watched her. I've even had one-sided conversations with her. <laughs> and she's taught me so much about the, about this time. And about this era. <laughs> As Boozette would then whirl around and would, I'm sorry, Azuna would then just turn and basically just stare at 
as Asha and would use telekinesis to grab as Asha as then she would just glare at Tomura and they and she would teleport away with Hazasha. As we go into a realm with no name, a realm I am calling the Twilight Realm. The Twilight Realm, it doesn't exactly have a name, it's more such a state of reality. As in Luigi's Mansion 2, um, pretty much King, King Boo plays, and um, plays basically a Kaguya, and brings Luigi to a completely strange dimension, that is just a purple and pink swirly realm. And then suddenly, just by the snap of Boo's fingers, an entire castle begins to form and and just appears and rises up from the not from the mysterious dimension. In this world, Boo basically is God. Okay, and. Well, there's a ginormous, basically, a more old and creepy version of her palace in there. With windows that are, that are crooked, crooked and bent, and crooked and, sh and broken. With walls that, that bend and curve. With ceilings that dip, and with floors that, that break, and suits of armor lining the halls, and suits of armor, two in each every room. Reality itself is distorted in this place. Reality is whatever Boo wants it to be in this realm. As pretty much Boo would just drop up Hazasha in this realm. She would just, I mean, you know, Azuna would just drop Hazasha in this realm. This twilight realm, as I call it. She would be absolutely confused and look around as she would notice that the Twilight Realm was not exactly like Earth as she would be confused and try to wander away but well suddenly the wind would begin to change and it would get suddenly a lot colder As suddenly what appeared to be hundreds of spirits and ghosts would just swirl around her. Her, as they had just detected her in the Twilight Realm. As then the winds would begin, as they would be getting, well, more fiercer and fiercer, and then. And there was a crackle of purple lightning, and the wind would suddenly settle. Now allow me to explain. All this wind that was basically getting stronger and stronger was like the ghosts getting closer and closer to Hazasha, like they're, they were about to kill her. Kill her. However, that p crackle of purple lightning was basically Azuna saying, don't touch her. You can talk to her, but do not harm her. And since Azuna is the king, is the queen of the ghosts, they have to obey. <laughs> oh, 
and then, and suddenly the wind would begin to be still, silent even. As the twilight realm would begin to swirl around and the entire t palace would turn into, and would basically turn into a room, or a hall, as there were many ghosts there. There were purple ghosts, red ghosts, and there were red ghosts with big heads and big hands, purple ghosts that were small and skinny, the green ghosts that, that were fat, that were fat with out, out arms, multi-headed ghosts, there were all sorts of ghosts. There was even ghosts for her for hotels. Elves. As then there were, uh, as then a couple of ghosts with horns, clear ghosts with horns, horns and, and th clear ghosts with horns would appear. As the ghosts would then say, and would basically. A, these ghosts would all go right and would all be in front of her as the other ghosts would be behind them but these clear ones they would be right in front of her as they would then and bow in respect and all the ghosts would be showing themselves now you might be wondering Wait, why are these ghosts with horns bowing in respect? Well, these ghosts with horns are basically like generals. Elemental generals, if you will. One of the elemental generals has power over wood. Another, another has the power over... Has the power over ice. Another power over fire, another power over wind, and so on, and so on. As all the generals just bow in front of her. Now that's the reason why the four general and um, why the generals are bowing in front of her. You see, they were just told by their queen that this is a special guest invited by the queen and she will be living and she will be living in the twilight realm permanently and, and she'll be living in the timeline in the twilight realm until further notice as all the ghosts would basically just bow in respect at this and the generals would be bowing in res at respect in front of as Asha, as Azuna, and as suddenly purple lightning would begin to crackle, as ice and fire would begin to swirl around, and so would the wind. As then, Azuna would f basically appear in front of all the ghosts, as they would all bow, bow even farther, in respect, as she is the queen, they would all basically be taking a knee with their, their shoulder on, and with their arm on one of their knees, bow, and their forehead on their arm, you know, bowing like, basically bowing how you would be if you were being knighted. As... The ghosts would also then, um, then suddenly the wind would become uncontrollable, as the ghosts would be swirling around. Izuna saying, "We're basically saying, where have you been? We've been looking all over for you. You you weren't in the twilight realm or the mortal realm. Where were you?" As then Izuna. 
just simply answered. <sighs> Two humans named Merlin and Arthur were able to seal me inside of a painting. How ironic. They then sealed me inside of a altar, inside of a, well, box and sealed that box inside of a, and put that box inside of a room, inside of a interdimensional room. As then the ghosts would then say, ah, so what is your plans for this girl? They would say, hey, as she would say, as I explained, she will be living with us. Hopefully that ain't a problem. Problem now, is it? As the ghosts would then say, not at all. In fact, act we'll call the chef. As in a green, and as then a brownish yellow ghost with green glowing eyes and a mustache. Ash and a chef outfit on would appear. Here, as they, as she would then say, you, you, I expect you to be, be cooking, all right? We have a new visitor. As in the ghost would say, a new visitor? A, a new guest? Really? And isn't a ghost? As she would say, no. My visitor is he human. I mean, our visitor is alive. And she would say, got it. And as the chef would say, got it. So, should I prepare my delicate? So, what type of delicacies do you think she'll like? As then, Azuna would say, hmm. Allow me to ask. And she would then float right in front of Hazasha and say, Excuse me, miss, but what do, would you like to eat? My chef here has perfected all sorts of delicacies from all around the world. So please, tell me what you'd like to eat. As, the, as Azuna, this is what she looks like, by the way, would just say, um... Uh, I don't know. Make me something by surprise, okay? As she would then say, hmm, by surprise, you s eh. All right. Hmm, well, I can't really do surprise. As Hazasha would then say, oh, well, whatever you want to eat, I'll eat with you. As then, Izuno would blush just a tiny bit, but no one would notice it. As she would then say, uh, 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 Okay. Um, Chef, get her tilapia. And get me and her tilapia. As the chef would then say, Of course. Of course, madam. As the chef would basically go to a kitchen and begin cooking. As we go back to the mortal realm or the real world of the living. As Tosh. I mean, as. Pretty much, hold on, I can't remember the name. Tamara. Tamara would be, wait, is it Tamara? Tomura? Tomara would be, basically, he would be the talk. Telling his teachers what happened, and they would say, Really? Then, if any of this happened, then please show us this room. As he'd bring them to her 
it was house and he would flip the cat switch and the door would open as they then say holy cow hmm then we have a problem then we definitely have a problem as they as pretty much the pro heroes would look out and would go out looking for a, for ooh, Hazasha. Now we go back to the Twilight Realm. As the, as Azuna is eating tilapia with well Hazasha sitting right next to her. As then, is Hazasha then says, so what exactly are you? And can you talk? Talk to me? You don't really, you know, speak human at least. And she would then say, and as Azuna would then say, sorry, it's been a long while since I've spoken Japanese. <laughs> I mostly speak ghost. After all, since I'm the queen, I'm very, very, very fluent in it. <laughs> As she would then say, but... Yeah. I guess so. But, yeah, I guess I can talk more. As then, suddenly, a ghost. Ghost would knock and would basically run through the halls of the Twilight Realm. And Izuna would say, huh? Well, what's the problem? As the ghost, which is a messenger ghost, by the way, would base, I would say, purple cat messenger ghost would basically say my, 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 my lady my master there is tell that she is here and that she is in our realm as Izuna for a second would then think, "What? What does he mean? She, as she, as well? She would then say, "What do you mean she?" Now the reason why I said she very slowly is just because she just remembered who she is. Hold on. As then, throughout the realm, a fire, I and mean, regular orange fire sparks, and suddenly, a woman with a shell, a tail, and two horns walks through. As the woman then says, so, <laughs> our world has actually opened. So, the portal actually opened up. Jesus. 2,500 years, huh? You literally had to be away from... from... You literally had to be locked away for 2,500 years, huh? Jesus. Anywho... I'm here to do the same thing I'm always here for. Challenge you. You said Bowsett. As then she would then say, Behold. As she would basically, her hair would become black, clothes would become dark blue, and her fire would become blue as well, and her claws would become longer. And her crown would change colors. 
Actually, then it's head. Head. Even this form. And, of course. Fior. My Fury form. I have... Uh, I've unlocked all this power just to beat you. And just to beat you. Because I remember the last time we battled. Flashback. The last time these two battled. In the Mario universe. 3,000 years ago. <laughs> All right. Huh. Let's see. Twilight Realm is in control. Is in correction. Check. Um. Huh? What's this? It appears someone actually ain't. Someone is actually fa activated a portal from. And is actually trying to get into the Twilight Realm. Oh my god. Who is it? Oh my god, is that Bowsette? Of course. Of course. Of course she tries it. <sighs> oh well. Yes, I am. As. Izuna would then turn into this, and she'd then say, Gotta teach her a lesson. Now, I'm not going to do the whole flashbacks fight scene, but I'll just tell you. <laughs> she was at. For the last 10 minutes of the 24 hour long fight, she went to her fury form, and she was too weak for her fury form. And she lost. Now, the flashback is over. As Zuno would then say, Come on, you know that in this realm I'm basically God. You would dare fight me in my own realm? As then she would, as then Bowsette would say, And you dare th would even think of fighting me in my fury form? As then she'd say, Fair enough. But remember, it still is your fury form, while strong, is nothing compared compared to final fury. As in Bowsette would then, as Bowsette would then say, "Shut up." Final fury is. Shut up. It has never been done by me. And it was only done, by, Bow. And by. Uh, it was only possible in myths. And then she. As then, Boozette said, eh, whatever. Let's fight. As Boozette would then basically create a blade out of. And would basically create a handle out of ice and fire. And then she would. And then she'd create a blade out of purple lightning. And, and combine the handle and the blade. She would then say, Alright, let's get this over with. As the two would then dash at each other. And begin battling. As Bowsette would be... Releasing, and would basically be attacking fireball, and would basically be jumping around using fireballs, and then one, p and then would fire one spike pillar, and would then fire one magma spike pillar, and hold on. As then, I'm a battle. Hold on. Okay, I guess this is a forced, I guess this is a forced cliffhanger. Sorry, guys.